Hi, y'all. Uh, my name is Abdul Latif. It is a pleasure to be here today, and it's really an honor to hear all of you speak and to be in your presence. I am a graduate student in the area, and I work as a chaplain in Chestnut Hill as well. I've been in Somerville and in the Union Square area for about a year and a half now. I moved from North Carolina. Uh, I'm really not very good with moves. When I came here, I was warned in advance about the extreme cold, and I was told that North Northeasterners are not very friendly. I think the charm of Union Square, though, helped me get over that and really made me feel welcome. I was feeling down one day, and I remember seeing the Fluff Festival, and nothing can cheer you up like kids laughing. Uh, you know, seeing strangers wave at you and smile really got over my stereotype of Northeasterners. And talking with neighbors you know, really made me forget the cold when I was outside. Oh, look, frostbite. <laughs> um, I was raised with the prophetic mantra that one should care for their neighbors, find some sort of way to serve them in whatever capacity they can. And because of the type of studies I do, I was reading a 7th century mystic who commented on this tradition and said, your neighbors means 40 houses in front of you, 40 houses behind you, 40 houses to the left, 40 houses to the right, which ironically like, feels like the length of Union Square area. Union Square is probably bigger. But I don't feel like I've been doing a good enough job of that at this point in my time here. I really feel like this is a chance for me to try and get involved and to help and to learn from others in some sort of capacity. I am really concerned about making students and young professionals in this area who do make up a decent percentage of the population contribute and be invested in this region as opposed to being a gentrifying force like it's been in the past. And I would really like to work on preserving and maintaining the diversity over here. Coming from a background with immigrant parents, that's extremely important to me. And I think finally, you know, I am really concerned about this development project and would love to find ways to make sure the community voice is heard. Thank you.